Hi, I'm John Spencer Ellis, and welcome to Health & Wellness Today, where we bring you the world's premier experts on health and wellness. And today, we have just such a guest, Erica Harper. Welcome. Thank you for having me, John. So tell our audience, what is your unique perspective on health and wellness? Well, what I've found that works for me in my life is I've approached things from a body, mind, and spirit standpoint. And so in my business, what I do is I combine mental health, I combine fitness, and I combine spirituality through meditation. And so the fitness, it was very interesting how I kind of came to put all of these three, these three things together. Um, I have a background in track and I ran from seventh grade throughout college and um, what that taught me was a lot about um, how, what the things that, the capabilities that my body has and um, it gave me a better respect for the human form. Um, and then I discovered psychology in college, of course, and I got into uh, counseling. Um, and then I also discovered sex therapy from there. And being able to kind of discuss that type of thing from a very candid uh, standpoint is very, very important. And I found that I could do that fairly well. Um, and finally, later on in my, well, actually within the last few years, I've discovered meditation and it's kind of like the bow on the present. And it basically wraps up everything um, that I've learned about, you know, body and, and um, about mental and physical wellness by helping to reduce stress and able and giving the ability to be able to handle uh, stress from here and on into the future. So those are the things that I do with my business. Now, obviously, you're very fit and you have uh, a formal background in fitness as well. Yes. And so it's all put together into one seamless system. Yes, most definitely. Yes. So let's talk about your vision and your mission. Well, my vision is for my clients to leave me feeling like fully integrated individuals. And my, my mission is also to normalize the three things that I do, the bi mind, body, and spirit connection. A lot of times we, most people experience stress and anxiety from time to time. And these things are normal aspects of our life, no matter what your socioeconomic status, no matter where you are in life, stress, anxiety, depression, are all natural things. And we have to understand that. But what makes, what differentiates a healthy person going through these things from a person who's going towards the unhealthy side is how we manage those things and how often, how those things stay with us. So. A person who is more grounded in themselves and has the tools to be able to handle stress, they're not put in a place where it affects them physically, which is what happens when we experience stress and anxiety over an extended period of time. So what I do is give people the tools to be able to handle these. And normalization is a big thing also for me, John. I normalize, my, my mission is to normalize counseling so you say normalization, you know, what does that mean or how, how do you define normalization of therapy? Well, when, you, when I talk about normalization, I'm mainly talking about stigma. There's a stigma in our culture regarding mental health and what it means for you to go to a mental health provider. And to a certain extent, there, there are other countries who have it to where mental health um, providers are actually on par with medical health providers, uh, which is the more healthy way to kind of look at somebody from a holistic standpoint. But basically, I want to make sure that people understand that going to a therapist and going to get counseling for an issue that they may have is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that it's actually a sign of strength and that you're showing an effort in wanting to get well. But not only do I want to normalize counseling, I also want to normalize physical fitness, and we have a lot of things going on in the news and on TV about all of the different things and the programs we have about physical fitness, but really, statistically, the majority of us really are not seeking out ways to be physically fit, and I'm talking about being physically fit and not skinny. And so, again, just kind of getting the word out, making sure that I, we, we, as providers, are able to kind of extend this word out to people so that they understand that this is a, a great way to live. And normalizing the talk about sex. Um, I am a full believer that the more we have candid discussions, candid, honest discussions about what it means to have healthy sex and engage in healthy sexual relations and things of that nature, we'll have less abouts of um, rape and molestation, all of the ugly and dirty things that make 
sex, that, that kind of give people the idea that sex is a bad thing. It's actually a natural thing and it's a beautiful thing, but we abuse it because we don't really understand it and we don't talk about those things. And finally, normalizing meditation um, because it's a way for you to be able to handle all of these things. Um, as a mental health provider, it's important for me to be able to empower you with the tools to be able to move forward and so that when you're not with me, you can still maintain a positive uh, mind, body, and spirit connection for yourself. So those are the things that I really want to do. Normalization, normalization, normalization is what I'm, what I'm seeking to do. Well, I think it's all great. And I have to agree 100%, especially with the, with the meditation portion. I saw a list one time of over 100 health benefits from regular meditative practice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure the list is far beyond that. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So I understand you're doing some really neat things right now. Mm -hmm. Can you share some of your products or services that you have to help people? Yeah, yeah. Um, what I do, of course, in addition to my regular therapy sessions, I see individuals and couples for various issues, both the general counseling and specifically sex therapy. Um, but I also developed a couple programs that are helpful in the mind, body, and spirit connection, kind of in introducing that to the people who see me. Um, so my first thing that I developed, and the thing that I'm the most proud of is my 60-day holistic program. And again, everything that I do has a three part, has three prongs to it. So the 60-day program involves 16 sessions of personal training, four sessions of therapy, and we meditate throughout, whether it's in my office or in, um, in the field doing the personal training. But the purpose of this program is to have a person come into the program feeling one way and leave out feeling refreshed and renewed and again empowered and having the ability to be able to again go forward and use the tools that they gain. So from there somebody may say, oh wow, I want to, I want to, I think this therapy thing is really working for me. I want to do more therapy or hey this you know, personal training is fantastic. I want to really take part in that. I'm getting control over my body and the things that I do, and I want to be able to kind of move forward with that. And it may just be meditation. Maybe you want to get deeper into meditation, knowing who you are. And so it combines all three of those things so that we could, the person can um, have a, a bit, really understand what it means to be fully integrated. Uh, the second thing that I do, I have a sex exercise, holistic sex exercise class that I have also. And um, I conduct this in Cleveland. And basically, again, three parts. So we do an intense body weight workout, and it's for women. Um, intense body weight workout, um, challenging. And we do it to very slow, deliberate, and central. So the movements are very slow and deliberate. And so is the music. So it's kind of theme, women have fun during the class. The second part, after we worked up all of that energy from the actual workout, we take part in progressive relaxation. And what this does is it teaches uh, my students about what it means to be mindful of where they are right now, which is very important because mind wandering and imagining the worst case scenario is what causes stress and what causes anxiety. And so what this does is it empties the person so that they're able to, again, those problems are going to be there when they get done, but it helps them to be able to better handle that. And at the end, we do an intense meditation where I have them focus on their goals, um, whether that be for the day, for the year, and for life. So yeah, that, that's pretty much what I do. You've told me about several of your success stories from your clients, but I know there's one or two that really stick out in your mind as rewarding for you and them. Yes. Can you share one of those stories? Yes, sure. Um, I have a client, um, well, actually she's a student in my sexercise class. It was a very moving experience for me. We went through the whole sexercise class, and this was her first class. And we went through, and at the end of the meditation, she began to cry. And of course, I'm worried, you know, I was, you know, what's going on? What's wrong? Are you okay? You know, and she said, you know, I thank God that you know, you're, you're here and that you're able to do this because I'm so busy and I'm so stressed out all the time and I never have time for myself and it just felt good to just release and let go and I really felt myself letting go during the progressive realization and the meditation. So I really thank you for that and that meant a lot to me. Well, people need some me time. Yes, yes. And so it provides the opportunity. Yes, me time is so necessary. 
Well, I know people want to learn more about what you do and the programs and services that you offer. How can they best contact you? Um, you can contact me on my website or email me at elh at ericalharper.com. That's Erica with a K. Um, I'm on Facebook under Erica L. Harper LPC, and I post a lot of things about healthy sex, healthy spirituality, and then also the fitness portion. Um, I'm also on Twitter at Erica L. Harper. And um, again, like I said, my website, ericalharper.com, and that's Erica spelled with a K. And you can reach me at any one of those places. Erica, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you.